Okay, welcome back. So now let's talk about the wheel of coaching. And so we're on page 37 in your manual. And as you look at this wheel of life, you will notice that we've got 10 sections. So there's career, finance, physical environment, etc. And the idea with this is that the client actually measures themselves on a scale of 0 to 10. So how happy are they in each area of their life? So as an example, they might give themselves a, a 5 out of 10 for career, a 6 out of 10 for finance, a 9 out of 10 for physical environment, or whatever the case might be. What's very important as the client does this is to be very honest with how things are at the moment. So it's not how they would like their life to be. It's how are things, how happy are they or how content are they with each of these areas in life. Now, it's not about being a perfect 10. Yes, it would be lovely to be a perfect 10, but it's not about 10. It's actually about having balance. Let's just imagine that the client had completed this and they gave themselves a score of 0 to 10. Essentially what will happen is you see the little lines running in the top of the, uh, the top of the wheel of life there. That indicates a 1, 2, 3, 4. And what you would end up doing is end up with a wheel that looks something like this. Now, let me ask you, imagine that your wheel on your car actually looked like these orange bits. How far do you think you would get down the road before your car broke down or the wheel fell off? Probably not very far. And the thing is that we actually go through our life with a wheel or with areas in our life where we are totally unsatisfied with. And of course that has a negative impact on our lives. So the idea with the wheel then is to mark ourselves on a scale of 0 to 10 and how satisfied we are in each area. And like I said, it's important for the client to be totally honest with how things are for them at the moment. Now we'll look at some additional wheels as well shortly. But this is a wonderful tool to create awareness for the client. You know, where are they now in relationship to each of these areas in their life? Now there is on the following page there is a description of what each of these areas mean, albeit they are pretty self-explanatory. What's interesting though, is that I like to use this at the beginning of the coaching session and also later on in the coaching session. And then the client can actually see for themselves how they've changed in relationship to when we started with the coaching relationship and you know where they might be a few months down the line how the coaching is actually impacted on their life. And, you know, let's say that the client maybe wasn't all too happy in their career, and maybe finance wasn't so high, and, you know, maybe they weren't so happy with their health and fitness because they didn't have money to go to the gym. By going and changing career, and this is just hypothetical, by changing career, getting a, a different job, uh, that might have a big impact on their finances. So now they earn more money. And that can also have an impact in this example on their health and fitness because now they have uh, additional time uh, possibly and additional money to be able to spend time at the gym or more time on their fitness. So as we work on one area in life, very often it can have an impact on other areas of life as well. And so the idea, like I said, yeah, is actually about gaining balance. Yes, it'll be wonderful everything was a 10 out of 10, but that typically is not going to be the case. Yes, we want a round wheel. We want balance. And the other thing to notice is that maybe, let's say the client was really, really happy in their career. Maybe they were like a 10 out of 10 in their career, but for romance, they were one out of 10. Or maybe even a zero because they don't have any romance. This then also shows us that how imbalance life can be. So if we spend too much time or too much effort in a particular area, 
how it can negatively affect other areas of life as well. So that's the wheel of life. And like I said, you know, it's about balance and let's not travel down the road or down our lives with a wheel looking like this. However, I can also take and do this for wheel of relationship. And, you know, these are just some elements uh, in a relationship. The client can choose their own. You can choose your own. If I was doing this for a business client, then, you know, I could use a wheel of business. Again, they just elements. You can add your own. And the client will measure themselves in, in each of those areas. Now, on page 39, there's some additional questions that you can ask around the wheel of life. These are just example questions. Like, looking at this wheel, what would you like to work on? Do any of the other areas relate to the area that you want to work on? Have you ever been higher than the number that you've scored yourself? What was different now to then? You know, what are you doing now that you didn't do then? And what did you do then that you're not doing now? Have you ever been lower than the number that you've scored yourself? What number would you like to be at? What would happen if you reached your desired number? What wouldn't happen if you reached your desired number? On a scale of 1 to 10, how motivated are you? Now, if they're not at a 10, then how could you become more motivated to work in that area? You know, how does working on these areas relate to your longer term goal? Or is it part of the longer term goal? What other options do you have? So these are just some example questions that you can ask. Obviously, depending on the client and depending on what specifically it is that you're working with, will make a difference on what type of questions you're actually going to ask. And so that's the wheel of life. I'd highly suggest that you actually do this exercise for yourself and, you know, see where you are in relationship to each of these areas in your life.